Ok, hi guys, Akumaldo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. So, as I have presented you guys, this is my overall picture. Ok, this W, X, Y. I'm showing you guys the, the, the lines, yeah, the waves. So then you can see the whole movement. So inside of this W, X, inside of this last Y, we have another W x and y and inside of this last y here white we have an a b c d e this is an of course this is an hypothesis okay what could happen is that this last y here see could be a sharp correction okay and that would mean that would like uh, we would have a, a lower low here okay that could happen so we need to wait. I am proposing this based uh, if you have if you have watched my stream, I have explained why I am uh, proposing this structure here. I have a, a a reason for it, right? It's time. It's it's because I think this correction here is it's about time. It's not about price. Okay, price we have corrected here sixty five percent. Okay. So let's see. Only time is gonna tell you this. It's gonna tell us this. No? So this is the daily weekly chart. We don't have a lot to say. As I said, as I have been telling you guys, we had this failed cross. It's like pitching here together. This this is the MACD. We don't have a confirmation here yet. What's going on? We bounced off this trend line here, this blue trend line here, okay? As I said, it would happen. We are doing this pattern here, you see? This is kind of a zigzag pattern, right? Something like this. Okay, so perhaps we see something like this, right? And then sometime, eventually, we are gonna need to break out of this pattern. Perhaps we don't break it up, but we break it down. Who knows, right? Um, so, this is my other daily chart, just to show you guys the, the, the EMAs. So, the, 50, the 21 EMA, this blue EMA here is a 21, has crossed the 55 EMA. I said that it, that it would happen. It has crossed the 100 here, and it has crossed the, now the 55. Yesterday it has crossed it. Okay, now the 21 EMA is gonna act as a resistance. The 21 here, and it's probably gonna be a resistance at the 7,000, 6, 8, 6, 900. Okay, here we have the Ishimoku cloud as well. So. This is going to be something like this, okay? I, because I think that the 21 is going to start uh, tip, uh, start, start turning a bit up, okay? Uh, correction is, is not over, guys. Correction is not over. Here we have my one hour chart, yes? With my proposed uh, correction. Yes, this ABC, this whole structure that everyone thought that was a motive impulse wave, it, it is a corrective structure, ABC. Here we have my pitchfork containing this whole movement. As I said yesterday, we would touch this median line again, and we, we have. We have touched it. By the way, Bitcoin has. <laughs> and we formed this wave A, right? This oh sorry, this this A wave here has has finished right. Now we have finished wave B as well right. It, that's what look that's that's what's look like. Yeah? We have this B here and we touched again another this yellow dotted line of the pitchfork. It's acting as a support, and we pushed up again to touch the median line here at the pitch fork. So the, this median line is really important for the movement. Okay, guys, you see all the time we touched it when we were going down, we 
we bounced back and then this time here at the third wave we crossed it okay and then we touched this yellow line here four and then the fifth wave here the last the a, the a wave touched this purple line here of the pitch fork and what i'm proposing here is that perhaps we're gonna do the same here for this b we're gonna touch this b this this purple line here perhaps some weeks here to try to touch the extension of this a b c here that's gonna be 127 20 percent that which is the, the sweet spot for a, a c wave i'm projecting it a through b here this is our c and then i would call it our b this white degree b wave and then we would have five waves down here to complete our c so perhaps establishing a new low perhaps perhaps we continue this pitchfork continues containing the the movement we don't know yet okay uh we have to be confirmed we perhaps go a bit higher here right we have the 50 percent of this whole movement here which i called a we have 50 percent here so if you put it b here perhaps i am starting to short to short bitcoin at, this, at those levels here and i'm gonna ladder it and if it goes up i'm gonna put i'm gonna add more okay and my stop loss is gonna be above it above the 50 percent and i'm gonna stop at this resistance here at the top of it i don't know yet if i'm gonna enter this trade because hmm, wave c can be truncated can be so nothing says that it's gonna get you the 5400 okay nothing we might just get a double bottom here okay and then go up one thing is to say uh, based on elliott waves that we are gonna get down here and we are gonna have another low one thing is that but we might have a as well a, a double bottom here something like this you see we might have a double bottom it's perfectly fine it would we would have a a, 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 a something like this you see the structure of the the waves is perfect this would be a, a perfect triangle to finish this correction in time okay we wouldn't level we wouldn't have a lot of price action a lot of vol volatility if you if you want but that that would be a nice movement nonetheless okay so this is the problem if i start shorting it here and if it goes down we need to have a stop loss right and a significant risk reward ratio that's what i'm looking for so when it goes up this c i'm gonna start shorting but perhaps i'm gonna be really really conservative with my stop loss perhaps some a bit a bit above the 50 percent okay because the c here this a b c the c can go as high as high as this 50 percent here i right? touch this dotted line here so bear in mind that this is not uh that this is not certainty okay this is probability this the best spot for the sweet spot for wave c is this one here 137 20 here but b can go as high as 50 percent okay this is what i have for bitcoin now and it and the picture looks nice we touched the median line here the red median line as i said and we are now we tracing a bit we then, then we are gonna break this median line if this is correct if this count is correct we're gonna break this red this medium line here of the pitchfork and then we are gonna start challenge this resistance here okay where i'm gonna and then we need to to break this resistance and to put the the final wave for wave c okay this is how i'm how i am counting it okay um so this is gonna be a a, 
a nice weekend, I think, yeah? with a lot of, uh, with a really good opportunity for shorting Bitcoin. Yeah. If you believe that this is uh, this whole movement is is impulsive, yes, it's a motive impulse. This is a one and two. I would like you to tell me how, because this is really difficult to to believe. This is an A B. It's really difficult. It's it's gonna break a lot of guidelines. This is a wave C that's a third time. Three, I think five times the length of this wave A here. That doesn't look like a, a wave A at all. Yeah, it looks like a one, two, three, four, five. A, B, C. Okay? So I think that's enough, right? Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, please consider doing so. Now I have a Discord group. If you want to join us, uh, it's everything for free, of course. It's I provide analysis there. We are gonna discuss and we are gonna have a, we are gonna have fun together. Uh, you have the, the the link in the description below. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for watching again. <laughs> have a beautiful weekend, and we see each other next time later. Cheers. Bye bye.